Hello everyone. Welcome to this session on cyber security. Uh, today we are going to look at uh, the concept of forensics with respect to social networking sites. So uh, this is a kind of uh, difficult thing as well as tricky thing for the forensic investigators to gather evidence from social networking sites like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Okay, so when do they go for uh, investigating social networking sites is uh, for example let's say the case that is filed contains some um, cyber bullying or uh, defamation case uh, for example uh, a person is uh, writing some uh, um, illegal or uh, some nonsense about a particular uh, victim okay so he is writing some bad posts, uh, sharing some bad images or marked images, that kind of thing on social networking sites to defame a person. Okay. So in such cases, the forensic investigators will try to gather evidence from the social networking sites. So let's see this. So what is a social networking site is? Uh, it's a web-based service which will allow uh, people to create public profiles. Uh, we have so many examples for this, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter and all these things. And the site also allows to search or navigate through a list of users. And it allows the people to view connections of other users. Mm, basically, you can take it the general example as Facebook. It allows all these three things. Okay and although these uh, social networking sites have their uses there are several associated security threats generally people don't care about these things and they fall as victims okay so what are the different concerns regarding the social networking sites are uh, does the social networking site violate people's intellectual property rights okay uh, that is like uh, selling counterfeit uh, goods or software uh, whether these sites infringe the privacy of their own users. So a lot of people on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter don't know that uh, all these sites are collecting the information about uh, you. Okay. For example, if you take Facebook, they, are, uh, they create profiles about each and every person who is using Facebook. You can actually see what Facebook is collecting about you. Okay, generally people always ignore all those things and they do whatever they want on the social networking sites. Right, and uh, another uh, issue or concern is whether these sites promote fraudulent and illegal activities. So the websites don't directly support these things, but the people who are using those websites will do uh, these things, uh, promote fraudulent and illegal activities. Right. And in case of social networking sites, content preservation is challenging. Why? Because due to the dynamic, short-lived and often multi-format nature of social media. Maybe some person uh, makes a post uh, uh, right now and deletes it after 5 minutes. Okay. So after 5 minutes, the evidence is gone. Right. So in such cases, what the forensic people have to do is they have to directly go into contact with the website. For example, Facebook, they have to directly go to the Facebook management and they should talk with them for the gathering the evidence. Otherwise, you can't find it publicly. Right. And uh, there is generally no control over the content posted on social media networking sites. This is very true. So, a person who, who wants to conduct forensics on social networking sites will have to have skill. Okay. Uh, why? Because to answer all these questions. So, let's see these questions. Who posted the offending content? 
is there a, a real live person to whom this content can be attributed and can we identify the time frame at which the offending content is posted uh, how much of this content uh, that is offending content exists across the entire social networking platform that is people always share the content right so how many people share that and to whom they are sharing mm, is there any other content that supports interpretation of the relevant content and how accurate is the reported physical location okay so the forensic investigator should be able to answer all these questions for that he, ha he or she has to have appropriate skill so that's it about forensics with respect to social networking sites thank you